Yeah, okay, so my dog, uh, we love him. He's one he's Loki. He's adorable and he is he is a doofus and we love him. But he sometimes he has nightmares, and I don't exactly know what goes on in these nightmares. Damn it. Twitch not Twitch Skype, will you behave yourself? I need to move the window around a little bit. Sometimes the dog has nightmares. And I don't know what goes on in these nightmares, only that he is very angry at something. Because he is he is doing a whole lot of running. He does the whole thing with his paws, and he's doing that sleep bork, burf, 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 burf thing. And not only does this, he's like, oh, it's adorable. But actually, apparently, he's really pissed off. Because, and this happened to Sarah a couple months ago, and it, it's happened to me, because we've got to be careful waking him up when he is in nightmare mode because he is there to, to kill. He, he is there to do murder. He is there to murder whatever is in his mind. It's it's very, you know, Panic at the Disco. It it's not Panic at the Disco. It's Black Parade. Who did the fucking Black Parade? Anyway, it's very emo. It's what? My Chemical Romance. That's it. It's very My Chemical Romance. My dog is trying to murder the evil in his mind. It's very strange. What? Aren't we all... <laughs> Well, the problem is it's terrible today. The problem is when he does these things. When he does these things, um, you can't wake him up quickly. Yeah. And uh, I did yesterday, and he flipped around and was like, "I will cut a knife," and you know, took a and chunk out of my face. Does he have a little switchblade? Because you should take that away from him. <laughs> Uh, no. No, he doesn't. Simba has the same problem. And we similarly have to wake him up very, very gently. Or he just wakes up swinging. Well, I mean, Loki, Simba, I will say, normally just latches onto legs and arms, which that's bad enough. He has never harmed a face. Yeah, this this was rough, man. He's never tried to take an eye. Do you see how fuck it was like easily half an inch from. Yeah. The 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 gooey bits, yeah. The permanent that 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 was scary a little bit, but he didn't mean to. He's very he's sorry. He 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 didn't mean to. Does he get really upset when he realizes? Because Simba does. Yes, he got very he upset. Simba, like to us, he is very upset. Like he immediately yeah. realizes what he's done and like wants to apologize. Well, my problem is, um, I talked about this earlier. There's there was that study that said uh, cursing helps release endorphins when you have pain and i overdose on endorphins when because i one of my few talents in life is i i am very good at that that profanity that is a skill that you have it is yeah i i have i have mastered it i clutch to that in this you know storm tossed world that is that is my my go-to and um i let loose a, a storm of horrors from my mouth in response. Is it still floating somewhere over the Midwest? <laughs> Hello, Grady. Once again, we we take it. We have to. There's the Grady Cam 2000. There, there. Our master. He he getting comfy. He getting he's spinning around. He, <laughs> he get comfy. He has too much fur. There you go. He licked the fur. Lick the fur. There you go. This is the quality content you're here for. There you go. That's pretty much what the internet was made for, as I understand it. Yeah. It's f***ing at cats. All right, let's get the intro going. Oh, boy. All right. Gamma. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air, audience go out in the world wide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And, uh, it, you know, this, it happened again is, is such a broad category here on this show, but it happened again. I mean, that could mean so many things. This is one of those that it's like, how does this keep happening? Isn't there someone stopping this? I feel like this should not be a trend. Like once is is like a an occurrence. Two twice is happenstance. Three times it's like this is like 
like a new thing people are doing. I <sighs> Oh, from the Department of Monkey Jesus. Um Oh. Yeah. <sighs> it happened. L look at that. What happened there? Someone has found yet another piece of art in Spain. It keep why is it Spain? Why is it always Spain? Oh, what is happening in Spain? Spain? Someone found another piece of artwork and did this. I'm a fix it. No, you're not. Um Spain, the country most famous for producing botched art restorations, has produced for your viewing pleasure yet another mauled artwork, this time in the city of Palencia. Um, what was once a handsomely carved, smiling female figure surrounded by livestock has been transformed into this claymation nightmare. What is that? Do you know what it reminds me of? No one's going to know what I'm talking about, and they're going to think I'm crazy. Do you remember there was like a weird PBS kids show when we were little and the guy, it was like a guy in a black leotard, but then he made really exaggerated characteristics for it. Like his eyes were like toilet paper tubes. I think there was like a segment on something. I think so. Like, like, a, like a Sesame show. Street or something. It was, it was one of those seventies things. Yeah. I was terrified of that dude. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. The, have you do, do you know how they make animation? Do you know what a yeah. smear frame is? No. All right. It's 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 part of how they get from one face to another really quickly or one scene to one motion to another really quickly. They make what's called a smear frame. And it tends to look ridiculous. But you're not supposed to see it because it's like a frame. It goes by too fast, yeah. And you're like, you know, all of a sudden, you know, the character's face is like, oh. that's what this reminds me of. This is yeah. a, this is a smear frame. Is 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 what this this is. This, this. It's like a melted ice cream cake of someone's face. <sighs> oh, people on the channel, sloth love chunk. <laughs> 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 um, okay. The real crew, yeah, well, wh whoever's at fault, the real criminal here is whoever commissioned the job and did nothing to rectify it. Professional Association of Restorers and Conservators note on Twitter, this is not a professional restoration. No, no. Really? That's, that's news. Like, apparently all you need to do to be an art restorer is to say, I'm an art restorer. Yeah, just show up with, like, You tools. don't need any certification or anything before they just let you fuck with the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> like when, when you're heading toward a, a painting and you pull out a hammer, someone should say something. Yeah. How just doesn't there anyone look at resumes anymore? I don't believe the Mona Lisa was done in tempera paint. <laughs> it's just it's almost a cyclops with like a bonus eye. Yeah, one eye is just sliding off. <laughs> like it also reminds me of when I was when I was nine, I think. I had a Statue of Liberty themed birthday party because I was super popular. <laughs> I wore mint green sheets and banana curls. We played pin the torch on the statue. I was an awesome child. And one of my sisters sculpted the head of, well, she tried to sculpt the head of the Statue of Liberty out of mint chocolate ice cream and sugar cones. And that's what it looked like. Uh. And for an ice cream sculpture by an amateur teenager, that was pretty good. For someone restoring a priceless piece of art. I mean, look, they put the eye over on the side. How did right, like Fuck. Fuck. What did you, how the, what in the, ugh. All right. Mum All right. and Chance, it might have been Mum and Chance I'm thinking of. All right, so next up is from England, and this is, I don't know how, th this is the kind of person I'm surprised they lasted this long into adulthood. Like, why hasn't someone murdered you yet? <clears throat> have you ever met someone that's like, it's amazing you haven't been killed in a moment of 
pure rage. I mean, I'm an, I'm a woman on Twitter, so yes. Um, th- th- this is well, this is feels a bit like that. Man warned by police after shouting "Wakey, wakey!" in Gosport. A driver who has repeatedly shouted "Wakey, wakey!" from his car in the early hours, given a police warning. Warning: Hampshire police said it received many complaints about his man and his a man and his passenger shouting at the top of their voices. The red Nissan uh, Navara driver can be seen turning off his lights and shouting. You can't call the police because you can't see us. John Cena? (laughs) I mean, they can hear you, though. That seems pretty clear. President Karen O'Brien, who runs Brockers Cafe, told the BBC at about uh, 140 uh, GMT on Tuesday or Wednesday, she heard somebody on a megaphone shouting, wakey, wakey. Oh, hell no. They did it trice and went up and down the road. It was pretty loud. And it happened a couple days later and woke my... So apparently this is the thing they did. Just... I. What I, time is 1.40 general mean time? Like It's probably 1.40 a.m. Okay. Um, or, I, you know what? I don't... I, I say that I don't know. Um, I shouldn't say things I don't know, but I do. Because... You should- us what youtube will correct us. that's that's what they do for a living yeah um so yeah this is this is the kind of person i don't know how they survive to adulthood because you clearly are fucking insufferable if you think if someone thinks this is a good idea i you have failed everything there are three creatures on this earth that can wake me up in an obnoxious manner and get away with it, and they are all my cats. <laughs> Even Dan knows if he has to wake me up early, he does it with food. He hands me food the second my eyes open. Because he likes living. But you can't call the police because you can't see us. What the fuck? They, they did, in fact, Call the police and, and the Even cops. Even with the headlights off, you're in a red car. The, the cops came for your ass. And your um, car, your Nissan is probably not equipped with cloaking technology. <laughs> it's not fucking Lola from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> so I just don't do not do this sort of thing. I'm just going to tell you, in case you don't have the wherewithal to understand, this is a bad idea. Yeah. People will murder you. That's not an exaggeration. Even if you don't get arrested, someone's going to come out of their house with a fucking baseball bat. If you're lucky. This is England. They have swords lying around. Do they? Does everyone just have swords in England? I don't know. They had a bunch of them. They had to go somewhere. (laughs) Like... (laughs) Do you think they just distributed them to the populace? Everybody had a sword at one point, you know. Somebody had, it was like, it was a thing. It was a fashion. Everybody had a pointy thing. It was, you know, they they did it for like several hundred years. I'm sure their swords, they had to go somewhere. Okay. Well, they didn't just go to space, Tara. I mean, they could have gotten melted down. Well, that's just crazy talk. But your theory is good, too. They just gave them out to people. Some yeah, just let's let's get a little closer to uh, my home. Actually, in my hometown, very close to the. It's in the metro area. Um, I I don't. We're gonna have a lot of people who are kind of missing the idea of how to handle crime this week. Um, this is kind of a big one. Uh, the porch pirates are are a problem lately that they've even got a term porch pirate i say porch pirate you know exactly what i'm talking about ever since yeah. deliver- it's obsessed with porch pirate <laughs> ever since uh retail got overtaken by online ordering there have been you know they don't get the delivery people do not give a shit they just drop the stuff off and drive away they don't care if it's in a secure location or not so you know well um maybe if you're gonna do it uh, don't you might need more than one outfit 
is all I'm saying. Uh, accused porch pirate arrested when he shows up at court in the same shirt from surveillance. I was mix. sort of hoping he was actually dressed as a pirate. <laughs> Goose Creek, a South Carolina man is in custody after wearing the, sh the same shirt to a courtroom that he wore to steal packages off porches in the Goose Creek neighborhood. The picture of the man in a green North Face shirt is posted by a Goose Creek Residents Group Facebook page claiming he's stolen packages from porches in the Oak subdivision. The post said, beware of this porch pirate, and went on to say the man pictured had stolen packages from at least two porches. Um... Police posted to the Facebook Friday saying the man came into court the next day wearing the same shirt. Uh, came to our courtroom the day after the first post was made. Lucky for us, he was in wearing the same shirt. We happened to say he was in custody. The post did not say why the man was in courtroom or if it was related to the stolen packages. So, you know, I would think you would try to avoid law enforcement if yeah. you are, in fact, a criminal. I guess none of the boxes he stole had shirts in them. It's bad luck. <laughs> like, maybe that's why he was stealing. Maybe he needed a shirt for court tomorrow. <laughs> he and failed. He was just hoping. Also, if you're going to court in a t-shirt, son. Yeah. Son, I have gone to court for traffic tickets, and at least, I, I at the bare minimum, I will find a button down, for Christ's sake. Yeah. I went to court for a divorce when nobody's saying you did anything wrong, and I still tried to look presentable. Like, seriously, I will, you know, you, you gotta at least, you don't, don't always need a tie, but make the fuck yeah, that you're you in court. you at least gotta look like a grown-up you know? who has showered within the last 24 hours. But no, there you are in, in your cargo shorts and your oversized t-shirt. Why do we as a society continue to enable cargo shorts? I don't know. Can we stop? Yeah, haven't, I, they, haven't they harmed us enough? I mean, I, I, to be perfectly fair, I have cargo pants. I have pants with lots of pockets on them, but I actually use the pockets because... Well, like, I, cargo pants are a different thing than cargo shorts. This is true. True. It's like, I've got all the pockets. Why do I need the rest of the pants? So, you know, <laughs> I've got the pockets. What's the, what, what do I need the rest of it for? Let's be efficient here. And I mean, maybe as a woman, I'm just extra salty about it because our pants don't even have functional pockets. But we get all the extras. Yeah. Meanwhile, y'all get to walk around in sacks that look two <laughs> sizes too big that are literally made of pockets like <laughs> pants designed by, designed by Rob Liefeld. <laughs> And I can't put a lip gloss in my jeans. <sighs> well, we we have th th there's there's even more of these um, missing the point of crime, or at least how to de to contend with crime. Um, this comes from Florida because, of course, it does. <sighs> Lakeland man who strapped utility pole to the roof of car on I four charged with grand theft and. He was not screwing around with this either. That's not a car you should. I mean, that's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're seeing it. Oh, that's not safe. A Lakeland man is facing grand theft charge after troopers say he loaded a downed utility pole on the roof of his car and drove it to a recycling facility. Oh, so I was like, why would you steal that? That's worth a lot of money because it's, it's aluminum, it's steel, it's. That would not occur to me. <laughs> that would not occur to me. Well, it, we should take that with us. It, it it occurs to 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 criminals. That's why you know people they have to be careful about, uh, especially during the big floor clo foreclosure crisis back. Yeah, uh, people rip out the copper wire. Yeah, you know people that. were tearing the copper out of people's houses. It was crazy. Um, Florida Highway Patrol troopers say they were called the report of a theft on westbound I four. They were told a driver had loaded down a downed power pole onto a small sedan. Uh, gases say the driver then drove with the pole loaded on the roof of his car to a recycling facility. When he got there, troopers say he was turned away because he didn't have the proper documentation for the equipment. Like, you can't just do that. 
power lot when, it. when they it's not finders keepers yeah it's not it's not the law of salvage we're not in the sea <laughs> we're not at mad max just yet <laughs> Trooper said they filed the driver identified as 71 year old Douglas Allen Hatley. All right. Oh. I, I, I just got to say, if I'm if I make it to 71. And I can single handedly load a downed power pole onto the top of a fucking sedan and get it at least somewhat stable to drive. I'm going to be doing pretty damn good. Yeah. Like, cool. That dude. What are you doing? The money. There's probably a job at the Home Depot. Shit. I mean, like, if you're 71, what are you doing stealing fucking power pole? If you can do this shit, man, you're a fucking ox, dude. But yeah, this this is uh, this is is grand theft. Because it's all a determination of the value, the monetary value of what you've stolen. Yeah. I mean, and it belongs to, I assume, the city. Yeah, they don't like it when you steal their thing. I mean, shit, they'll lose their mind over fucking street signs that go missing. You think they're not going to have a little problem with this? Uh, I mean, you take Dick Avenue. Oh, God damn it. Shut up. Shut up. Hello. Shut up. An alarm went off. Oh. Shut up. I gotta check. I got, hold on, everybody. I have to stop the show long enough. To make sure another alarm is going to go off. This is the problem with using my phone as the Grady cam. <laughs> Is it time for Grady to get up? No, this is actually uh, time for close to time for upper. Come on, I'm gonna have to edit this part out. Thanks, Nash. So the big fuzzy black alarm is gonna go off any minute too. <laughs> Thanks, past Nash, for making my editing of this bit so much of a pain in my ass. You're welcome, current Nash. I, I live to help. This week it's your fault and not me doing TMI on my own poor husband in the room. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway. All right. So next up. Uh, oh. Oh. There's a series of sounds that concerns me. We're, get, we're getting onto the downslide here this week. Um, you remember we had a few weeks ago. Uh, the the Florida woman who who went into the uh, the adult store and started using the products, yeah. In, yeah. Um. Well, I this is quite literally uh, what's what's good for no goose is is good no. for the gander. No, it's not. Um. Man took sex toy for a test drive. An Oklahoma man is facing an indecency charge after allegedly taking a sex toy for a test drive inside an adult novelty store. Uh, Gilbert Cordero, 23, was a re recently arrested in connection with a bizarre incident last year at a Oklahoma City business. Uh, Cordero, seen it right, is next scheduled for a December 3rd hearing. According to a probable cause affidavit, Cordero went into a sex toy shop and tried a piece of merchandise that was out on display. Specifically, the business was Carly's, and the item in question was, quote, an auto-blow device. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to be a butt plug. <laughs> That's thank God? Yeah. <laughs> really? I, I would kind of think dude getting his dick Any out. Any day you're not dealing with a stranger's poop is a good day, Nash. Well, it's still dealing with, because the uh, cops charged that Codero walked up to the merchandise shelf, uh, I'm not going to get into the real description here. Um, 28 year old female employee watched a security monitor. Cordero placed his penis into the sex toy and began, quote, thrusting his hips into the auto blow. 
He eventually returned the device to the shelf and walked away after the worker hit an alarm they have inside the store. Did you think no one would notice? Did, also, why does it look like R2-D2? Yeah, let's let's have a look at the at the auto blow here. Um, does that not low-key look like R2-D2? Kind of. It's got a little bit of the R2-D2 motif, yeah. The, the, the auto blow. You can't test drive. You can't. The Auto Blows creators describe the electric self-gratification product as an affordable, quote, tried and trusted basic blowjob machine. The Auto Blow models, models are available on the manufacturer's website where, quote, fap lube and other accessories can be purchased. The device is reportedly, quote, easy to clean and relies on silicone interchangeable sleeves. Well, I think they're probably just going to throw this one away. Yeah, that's that. You can't fuck things that aren't good. <laughs> and that is true in every possible context you can think of. I mean, you cannot just go around fucking things that do not belong to you in some capacity. <laughs> it's just bad manners. Hey, hey, did you pay for that sandwich? No? Well, you can't fuck it then. No! <laughs> did you pay for that Honda Civic? No? Well, you can't fuck it then. Can't fuck it! <laughs> I just... I, you, man, the, the, the audacity to say, man, I, got, I really needed to whack it, but uh, I'm not at home. Um, oh, hey, there's a sex door. That'll take care of it. And to put it back on the shelf. What kind of fucking savage are you? Like, at least pay for it, for Christ's sake. Like, did the wolves that raise you turn you <laughs> out because you were not civilized enough for them? <laughs> uh, I just, Jesus Christ. R2 blow two. Okay, that's that's R2 KY. That's that's pretty yeah, that's pretty good too. Can we not? <laughs> can we not ruin the, <laughs> one of the only two robots I've ever liked? The Cray Spruce. There's like, there's like R2 and BB8, and those are the only two robots in the world I've ever liked. So can we not? Oh, you haven't seen K2QT? No. Oh, she's another astromech. You'd like her. Um Cray Spruce says, dude, you fuck it, you bought it. Yeah. That's another one of those basic rules for Remember life. Remember when that was a rule? <laughs> <laughs> like, remember if you damaged a piece of merchandise, the store could make you pay for it instead of having to apologize for the inconvenience and give you a gift card? Yeah, but usually you didn't break the merchandise with your penis. <laughs> Okay. One, Once you put your penis in a thing, yeah, you have to pay for it. It's all fun and games till your dick comes out. All right. Who's in here? <sighs> Somebody's kicking up a ruckus. I don't know who it is. All right. Final one tonight. This is just all out. No, no fucks given. Koalas in the rain. Um. This was a saga. A uh, noon man arrested after driving into grocery store. Into. Not driving to. Into. Let me fall, Montana. A man who crashed his car into a Montana grocery store and fled the scene was later arrested after running nude through a nearby retirement home. I told you this was a saga. Witnesses describe the driver as approximately 40 to 50 years old with dark hair and a mustache or beard. Um, or? What? A mustache or beard? Well, th there are a lot of different things. That can... 
you know, you could get one of those like fucking super ass handlebars. Is that a mustache or is it a beard? Because it kind of it goes down to beard territory, but technically it's a must. If it doesn't cover your chin, is it a fucking you know mystery facial hair? Um, Pick one. Uh, the man is accused of driving through the front doors of a Super One Foods and continuing to drive through the store before turning around and driving out the way he entered. No one was injured. The front doors were destroyed and cans of Pepsi were scattered around the entrance. Suspect fled the scene by the time authorities arrived. The suspect's vehicle, a white 95 Chevy Lumina, was later found crashed into a trailer across the highway. Driver fled the scene on foot. Shortly after discovering the vehicle, police received a report of a nude male running down the hallway of a retirement home. Officers found the man about one block west of the home and detained him. Employees at the retirement home said they were able to identify the man. And the homes weren't even taking visitors right now. Well, I, I mean, are you so like, how did he even get in? Are you going to lay hands on the naked man to stop him? If no, I'm not a medical professional, and I feel like medical professionals are less squeamish about that sort of thing. I'm not. Like I, a, nurse will, a nurse will absolutely fuck you up. I have known some nurses, <laughs> and they will fuck you up. Yeah, but if, you know what, if there is contained nudity in, in the confines of the, it, it's like, a, it's a social contract. In the confines of a medical, you know, area. That, that so free-range nudity is a different story. Yeah, well, you don't know where that nudity is coming from. You don't know what, what the context of that nudity. There's all sorts of terrible things that come along with with a, a dude screaming his way naked into a I'm retirement saying, I'm home. I'm assuming you don't even have the entrances open. Like, you'd think he'd hit a locked door. Maybe he made one of those, like, Wiley e. Coyote outlines for the fucking wall. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to picture the cops trying to trace this down. First, they get a call to the grocery store. Then they get a call across the street. Then there's a naked guy. Yeah. And you're in Montana. It turns out to be the same guy. <laughs> you're in Montana. This is a year's worth of crime at once. Yeah. Like, like, these cops haven't seen this much action. Like... Holy shit, I might actually be able to take out my pepper spray. I mean, Jesus Christ. Usually it's just runaway elk. <laughs> yeah, this is the most this is the most excitement that has not involved wildlife that has happened in Columbia Falls, Manta Montana in decades. Cuz there's like four people in Montana and <laughs> one of them is Hank Green. <laughs> And I don't, I don't really see Hank Green pulling this kind of stunt. He seems pretty. I don't know, man. YouTube will make anybody lose their shit after after enough time. Is that my computer? What is? What is what? You don't hear some like a little tiny person playing the bongos? I do not. Okay. Either it's your computer or you've been doing this too long. Voices. I, I don't now I am picturing this being Hank Green and it's making the story <laughs> 10 times more delightful well the first thing we learned this week is sometimes in life one man can make a difference and you may ask yourself well how did I get here we get and so much able to help you answer that question. We get so much mileage out of that song these days. It's <laughs> I, I don't know if if Talking Heads imagined. I don't know if David Byrne ever. Yeah, I don't know if he knew what he was doing there. <laughs> he, he defined a culture. Um, we have learned uh, if if you haven't paid for it, you can't fuck it. Nope. That's 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 a life lesson. You need to be told that shit when you're like 12. That should be part of Semprehend sex education classes. We've learned if you have the capacity at 71 years old to 
to steal a downed power pole. Why the fuck are you stealing down power poles? Yeah, why Come- aren't you in the circus lifting cars? No shit, man. I feel like my dad could have done that. <laughs> Um, we've learned that sometimes dressing nice for court isn't just a way of being polite. It's yeah. also it's also a way of not getting arrested. It's self-preservation. Um, we've learned it is a miracle some people survive to adulthood without getting straight up murdered. Yeah. Like, and th- these are, in some places in the world, this would be justification to let you off. I mean, you'd be like, all right, I'm giving you a warning this time, but don't don't go murdering people again. I mean, you, you had grounds. I'll give it to you. Uh, the he had it coming defense. Um, and finally, we've learned that if someone comes to restore a piece of uh, priceless artwork, check the fucking resume. Yeah, you should ask to see a portfolio. No shit, right? Get some references. What is going on, Spain? Why does this keep happening in Spain? I mean, you don't see this shit happening in France. You know what? It's probably Banksy. 